Hello everybody. Many of you have asked about my garbage can IV pole setup and I'm going to show you a little tutorial really quick on how I did it and the supplies that you need. Now let me start off by saying that I may have to stop this a lot, pause it a lot, or mute it because I'm sick and I've been sick for a few weeks now and I have a horrible cough so you'll either hear me have a coughing fit or you'll hear the volume mute out um, to try to keep y'all from going deaf. So this is what you'll need. <clears throat> this is just a regular Dollar Tree garbage can. Um, Emery picked out green because green is one of her favorite colors. And this shade of green is what she wants her bedroom colors to be whenever we remodel. So I just went ahead and got it. And for an FYI... This may be a Dollar Tree garbage can, but it is a very thick plastic. Um, so, whenever we, you'll see why in a minute, but when we drill through it, it will be kind of hard. Because it is a, a, a pretty good thick plastic. Um, the IV bolt, the, the, let me back it up again. <laughs> Sorry about that. The IV pole that we have is just the standard travel fold-up style. Um, we, I did do one for her ventilator pole is a different size and then we have a standard IV pole like the hospitals have and it's a little bit different diameter too but we'll go through all that so you'll need your IV pole your garbage bag I mean your garbage can a garbage bag <clears throat> a rubber band you will need um, nuts and bolts and these I found at Walmart because they were an afterthought I didn't get them at the time that I purchased everything else and so these happen to be let me see if I can get it. there we go they are three-fourths of an inch I would not go any bigger than that if you can find some smaller great but do not go any bigger than three-fourths of an inch and you'll see why and then oh let me say I got these for 97 cents at Walmart and then this is a three pack of three-fourths inch pipe hanging um, they come three to a pack and I got them for a dollar let me look at my I think it's a dollar nineteen uh, hang on a second I'll tell you dollar ninety four so I got a pack for I got two packs because I have more than one pole but um, this one pack was a dollar ninety four and I only use two out of the pack per um, installation so so for less than five dollars, dollar for the garbage can, ninety-seven cents for the nuts and bolts, and a dollar ninety-four for the hanging clamps. Um, you can install yours too. So let me show you what I did. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is what they look like. This is what the hanging clamps look like when you take them out. And these are the the bolts that go through the end right here. So that little end right there. These are the bolts that go through it. So you will need a Phillips head, or you can actually use a flat head because your actual nut and bolt is a flat head. So if you just want to bring out one screwdriver, you can do that. Um, and the reason you need the nut and bolt is to go through the little hole that's in the clamp. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Bear with me. So what I did is I left... I took mine down so I could show you how to do it and uh, so I left one bolt in so you're going to measure and what I did was I just took the clamp and I lined it up where I wanted it and I marked a like I was a sharpie marker or whatever I marked a hole and then I did it up here as well uh, made sure they were aligned and then I drilled holes so you're going to want <clears throat> a drill bit that is the same diameter as your nut and bolt or slightly bigger I wouldn't go slightly smaller because in, I did it slightly smaller and I'm having to force it through and I'll show you what I'm talking about that's why I left this one in and only took this one out because it's a pain in the booty to get it back in because I did it a little bit too small um, but so you drill your holes right there and right there and then what I did is instead of feeding the screw going in this way so that it would hang on the garbage bag every time that you changed it I did it from the inside so I actually put the nut in get it. 
Sorry, I'm telling you, I'm doing this one-handed, and it's kind of difficult, and I know this is a crappy video, but <clears throat> I know y'all were waiting on it. So I did it from the inside. So, and so like I said, because I did mine slightly smaller, I'm going to have to screw it in. And you may have to, like, if you want it this tight, and you want it to be a little persnickety, you may want it to be a little bit smaller, but I would suggest the same size or a tad bigger, because this is killing my fingers. Because you really can't, unless you have a small screwdriver, which I do, I'm too lazy to get up and get it. Um, this is kind of difficult to do with your hands, but I'm doing it. So, once you have your holes drilled and you have your bolts in the holes what I did is I left and I don't know if you can see let me see if I can get this camera to focus for me I left see how I left a slight I didn't push it all the way down that's where I drilled the hole in because I drilled in from this end from this side <clears throat> so the plastic kind of built up around there that's how you, I mean, that would be ideal, so that way the screw doesn't go too far through. And that's another reason why I said you don't want to go any lar any longer than three-fourths of an inch, is because when you go to put these clamps on, if that screw's sticking out, it's not going to attach to your pole. And I'll show you why. But see, that's just kind of where the plastic of the garbage can built up when I drilled through. So I use that as like a stopping guide for both of those. So you have your nut in. I mean, not your nut. You have your bolt in, excuse me. And for some reason, I'm bad about saying that backwards. Um, <clears throat> so then you're going to take your clamp. Make sure that you adjust it to where it will slide onto your pole. Always make sure that it fits your pole before doing this. So, you have it. We're going to set it on there. Do that again for you since I didn't record it like that. And we'll take the second one. And do it like that. <laughs> and then we take the, the nuts and you're going to screw those on. And these are a little bit tedious because my fingers are fat. So trying to get them on here and screw down straight. There we go. I think I got it. I'm trying to do it one handed. I think I got this though. I think I can keep this video under 15 minutes. Hopefully under 10, but we'll see. And because we did the 3 fourths of an inch, I can screw it all the way down. Now if you do, I mean, use what you have. So if you do have a bolt that's slightly larger, just don't screw the nut all the way down. And then that way your bracket will, <clears throat> your clamp will move a little bit and it'll fit onto your pole. Um, but it just means that the screw on the inside, the, uh, not the screw, but the bolt on the inside may stick out a little bit and hang on your garbage can or your bag whenever you put it in there. But it's not a big deal. And you can use what you have until <coughs> you can go to the store and get what you need. Because like this is removable. This is totally removable. It's totally undoable. I mean, I undid it. I did it and undid it for you um, so that I could do the tutorial. So, I mean, it's... Your pole ever breaks, you can move it, you can take it off and put it on another pole. Um, traveling, if you wanted it on your pole in the hospital room, um, you could totally take it off and bring it with you when you travel, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, if you need to wash it out, let's say you have an accident, or I know a lot of times whenever they do blood draws on my daughter, sometimes she squirts a little bit. And it gets everywhere, and you take it off, take it outside, hose it off, sterilize it. You know, like I said, it's totally removable. It's not permanent, so there's no need to worry. So, see, so you have a little bit of wiggle room, and that's you, you kind of want the wiggle room, and I'm going to tell you why. If it's too stiff, and it's too rigid, and it's too tight, if there's any kind of weight in the garbage can, <clears throat> it may break. It may crack the plastic. It may cause these things to rip off. So you kind of want a little wiggle room in play. And I'm not saying so much here because once that gets installed into the pole, this will stop. I'm talking about like here, like when you're pulling it up and down. So you do kind of want a little bit of wiggle room. Plus, 
if the garbage can you happen to get has a lip on it like this one, <clears throat> you don't want it flush to the pole because then it's not going to stay good. You kind of want it tilted at an angle. So now I'm going to show you how we put it on the pole. Excuse my mess in the background. We are cleaning out our house and getting things ready for donation. So I have piles of boxes sitting around um, getting ready to <clears throat> head out and go to Goodwill and the thrift store down the street. So you just pop this on and you see how it fits. If you look, see how it fits into the little crevices. Now, um, just so you know, if you're if you're finding it hard to get it around there, crap. Um, here I'll do it with this one. You can bend these if you need to to get it to slide around there and then pop it on and then secure it back. So they are just don't bend them so much that you permanently damage them. But I mean they're they're steel. They're not. It's not gonna hurt anything. So then you just take your bolt that came with your clamps and <clears throat> you want it. There's two ends to these clamps. So you have, let me get it focused, you have a big end here. And then if you look right here, you have kind of like a keyhole. That's where your screw is going to go through. This is the, the opening where it's going to go in. going to go in there and then this one is going to go in the same place I made sure well I thought I made sure I had them on the same side I guess when I took them off I had them on different ends <clears throat> so it's up to you if you want them on the same side or if you want them opposite it doesn't matter it's whatever floats your boat whatever handed you are uh, whatever makes it the easiest for you and then you take your little handy Phillips screwdriver which has got <laughs> Sorry, it's got green garbage can plastic on it from where I was making, trying to make my hole a little bit bigger. And then you just screw it in. So, um, let me see if I can do this. Oops. I'm not technically right-handed, so this is a little difficult for me. up a little bit. I may have to get you really close here for a second just so I can hold it still to get it tight. There we go. And so that's what it looks like whenever it is bolted in and secure. And then if, let me see if I can get it tilted. If you see right there, that's where the bolt is that we went through the garbage can. Um, there we go. You can probably see it better like that. That's the bolt that went through the garbage can, and or yeah, and then we put the nut in it. So the nut. Let me get my screwdriver here. So the nut's right there, and that's the bolt, and then it goes into the garbage can. So like I said, if you turn it the other way, your um, bolt will stick out and it'll snag your trash bag. So I did it this way. But if you look, the three fourths of an inch. Is, I'm trying to get in here for you is just enough to where whoop, oops, sorry Ivy pull down Ivy pull down um is just enough to where it touches the pole and it will still let it come through and it doesn't stop it from clamping onto the pole you want to make sure that it stays somewhat straight so as you're tightening it turn it around Make sure that it's straight because the first time I did it, and like if you look, you can't really tell the way I'm sitting, but <clears throat> my trash can's a little cock eyed, <clears throat> which is okay. You just need to untighten it a little bit. And like I said, I'm not right handed, so this is a little difficult. I'm gonna put you guys down for a second, okay? And there you go, your garbage can's on your pole. Now all you have to do <coughs> is to get you a bag, which this is, these are just the little cheapy Dollar Tree bags that are scented for the small garbage cans. Um, we just happened, when we got the can, I went ahead and got these until I could find a thicker 
solution because if anybody's ever used these you know these are a little thin and they tend to um, not be as durable so I want a thicker option I just haven't made it to the store to get one and then we just take a rubber band so and then that's what the rubber band's for to put underneath <coughs> to put underneath the the lip so that your whenever you start using it the bag doesn't fold in on itself because I hate that more than anything is for when you're using, for you to use a garbage can and uh, go to put something in it and the weight of the item that you put in the garbage can causes the bag to fall so there you go and now you have yourself a attached garbage can to an IV pole I know it's a sucky video I may take the time later on when I'm feeling better to do a better tutorial but I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what I did. If you have any questions, just ask. I have no problem answering them. I may not answer you right away, but I have no problem answering them. So I hope this helps, and have a good day. Bye!